Mid-size sedans remain extremely popular because they appeal to a lot of different types of car shoppers. Everyone from single drivers to families can appreciate the practicality and sensibility of a car like this. This is the 2018 Hyundai Sonata, and it's been updated this year to keep it fresh in the face of a lot of new competitors. So let's dive in and see how the new Sonata stacks up. How does it look? The Sonata is new from pretty much every angle, and it's still a nice looking sedan. The front end is dominated by this massive version of Hyundai's recognizable grille design. But overall, this is not an especially distinctive look when compared to some of the newest mid-size sedan competitors. And from behind, I think the new trunk makes the Sonata look extremely tall and bulky. How's the storage? We've got 16.3 cubic feet of space back here, which is right near the top of the class. And there's a nice generously sized opening to make it easy to get stuff in and out. And of course, you can fold down the back seats for even more space. But let's see what it looks like when we put some suitcases back there. If you're the sort of person who pulls everything out of your pockets when you drive, the Sonata will make you happy. There's a rubber-lined tray that will keep your phone still while driving, big cup holders, a roomy storage cubby, and door pockets for even more belongings. Is it roomy? The front seat has tons of space and lots of adjustment to get comfortable behind the wheel. The back seat is still spacious, but not quite as roomy, primarily in terms of legroom, as the best in the segment, like the Honda Accord or Toyota Camry. Still, normal sized adults should be perfectly fine back here. How does the interior feel? This is a tidy, well put together interior with no obvious flaws. Now the light colored plastics maybe wouldn't be my first choice and I think that on the door panels there's perhaps too many different color schemes going on, but overall the inside of the Sonata is a perfectly satisfactory place to spend time. Is it well equipped? This is a mid-grade SEL that quite likely represents the type of equipment level that many people will get on their Sonata. For instance, we've got 17-inch wheels, a color trip computer, heated seats, a power driver's seat, two USB ports, standard blind spot monitoring, and optional pre-collision braking and adaptive cruise control. All told, it's a very nicely equipped car with all of the features that most people would want out of a new mid-size sedan. How's the infotainment system? There's a lot to like about the simplicity of this 7-inch touchscreen, especially because it has physical shortcut buttons to help you jump between menus, as well as physical volume and tuning knobs. There's also support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. An 8-inch version of this screen is optional on the Sonata Limited. Is it a good daily driver? There's a lot to recommend the Sonata as a daily driver. It's quiet, it's comfortable, it's easy to use all the secondary controls you can see out very well. But when I think back to my experiences recently driving cars like the Toyota Camry, Chevy Malibu, a lot of this car's competitors, well, they just feel a little crisper, they just drive a little more sweetly from behind the wheel. And I know that's the sort of intangible that you might think doesn't really matter for something like a mid-size sedan, but if you do drive those cars back to back, I think you'll find it just feels a little more satisfying to drive some of them. The Sonata drives fine, but it doesn't drive great. Is it fun to drive? I'll be honest, the Sonata feels pretty slow, and I wasn't expecting a mid-size sedan to accelerate like a Dodge Demon, but it certainly doesn't leap off the line. We've got a 2.4 liter engine with 185 horsepower and a six speed automatic. It's just not that inspiring when you put your foot down. So if like me, you find that acceleration's a little bit lacking, you can pay for a turbo engine instead, a two liter turbo with 245 horsepower that would probably alleviate some of my acceleration disappointments. But in terms of cornering and handling, you know, the Sonata doesn't really impress me that much either. Again, not expecting it to be a Porsche when we go around an on-ramp, but it just feels a little soft and roly-poly. So in terms of fun to drive, no, not particularly from this car. How's the fuel economy? 
you'll see 25 miles per gallon city and 35 mpg highway. There's also a Sonata Eco that's rated for 28 mpg city, 37 mpg highway. Now those are really good numbers, but certainly not class leading. The four cylinder Toyota Camry now hits 39 to 41 mpg, depending on trim level. How much is it? Prices for the 2018 Hyundai Sonata are pretty much in line with rivals, running from just under 23 all the way up to $33,000 depending on trim level and engine. This model, an SEL with the tech package, is $25,710, probably representing a realistic price tag you might pay to buy a mid-tier Sonata. What are the negatives? The Sonata just doesn't drive as crisply as some of its competition. The new Camry, Malibu, and Accord really impress us from behind the wheel, but whether you're driving gently on the way home from work or on a country road, well, the Sonata just doesn't quite match up to them. Who should buy it? If you're looking for a car that is above all else easy to live with, has a long warranty, and is very affordable, well, the Hyundai Sonata is a great pick. Now, there are other cars in its class that I think are better to drive or more stylish, but as an everyday all-rounder, the Sonata certainly stacks up pretty well against its competition. If you like this why buy be sure to scroll down and hit the like button and leave us a comment if you've got any questions about the 2018 Hyundai Sonata. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get a new why buy like this every Thursday as well as tons of other great video content. And of course you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and at motorone.com.